Hi everyone, this is a very enthusiastic and short video around Dynamic 365 Human Resources. So welcome. And today what I'm going to share with you is something really short and really, um, I think, really good about Dynamic 365 Human Resources. Luckily, we have the ability to compare uh, employees and jobs. This feature gives us the opportunity to be able to understand what's currently going on in the company, of course. And if we have a match uh, between a employee and a job opening or another position. So without further introduction, let me share with you what this is all about. So first thing first, we need two things to be fulfilled in the system. The first one is we need a um, in the job descriptions, we need the skills to be set uh, for the specific job. So let's do this first. Let's go here at the jobs and let's see this job that I have over here. So under the marketing director, you can see that I have a few skills that I have the level. And yeah, the second thing is that we need in our employee records to be able to have the skills added. So let's go here to employees. And under my name, let's go into my skills here someplace in the top. Where is it? There it is in comparisons. There you go. And you have my skills here as well. A tip, if you want employees to add skills by themselves through employee self-service, you can enable a workflow where HR or the manager are able to approve or not the skills that has been added. So let's let's picture that I add that I'm public speaking number five, as five as the expert, but my boss doesn't believe that I'm a five. So he's able to um, change that into the system. So the, the um, you know, I'm not cheating myself and doing things that are not uh, okay, so going back to the main dashboard, let's go to employee development where I'm going to do the comparison between me and the job. And under links, we're going to select select skill gap analysis job person. Sorry for this. Let's go and open here. And I am going to select Ana Urrutia myself. And I'm going to select the marketing director position or job. It's a position uh, related to a job. So as you can see here, it doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen anything. So you need to update it from the top. And here you can see two things. So my favorite one is the graphics because I'm a very graphic person as in a person with ADHD. ADHD, yeah, I need to see things like very fast and, and easy. So I can see actually that we have the actual and the target skills. I do have two of the three skills that are required for this job. So we can see that I'm accomplishing the marketing communications at the public speaking as well, but I don't have the graphic design skills that are required for the marketing director role, which is very weird because I don't know any marketing director that actually does graphic design, but anyway. Um, and if you're a different person, like I imagine more like an engineer and kind of um, thinking person, you have this other table where you're able to see, for example, the skill, the description, the target level. This means the level that I have to have to perform the job, the actual level and the gap percent. The gap percent is going to give us a very good insight uh, on, on what we need to work on. So for example, this means that I need to improve 100% my skills of graphical design. So I don't think I will be able to make um, the marketing director, director position. But this also, this gap, sometimes it can give you like 25% um, need for improvement or maybe 20% or 15%. And this means you have, you're having potential internal candidates for openings inside your company that I really think they can add a lot of value. Let's keep in mind that always moving someone internally, it's much cheaper than hiring someone from the outside, making sure they fit 
our culture, they're happy, their learning curve is fast and so on. So if you have the chance to move someone internally, I think this solution helps you a lot and I really hope you like it. Um, this is something that I discovered and I think is very good. And I'm because of the release notes, I think that this is this feature is going to keep improving. So uh, let's have our fingers crossed and see you on my next tip. Have a great day.